So wait a minute, you was doing road gigs before you really started hitting the open mic circuit, or were you already doing the open mic circuit then did the road the, gigs? The road, well, okay. So so here's the thing: in the South, open mic in most cities in 19. This is 98 at this point, by the way. This is my junior year, going into my junior year. Open mic is once a month in most markets in the South. It's not every week. So if you want to perform every week at an open mic, you got to get on the dog, man. So I had to get on the Greyhound and fucking go to Atlanta. Atlanta had a, a weekly open mic and um, coconuts in St. Petersburg. Yeah, I went to Coconuts when I was starting out on the St. Pete Beach. That's why I'm from St. Pete Beach. I'm from St. Pete. So it's right off in the cut in that little hotel cut, the little low ceiling and shit. (laughs) So my assistant even got up in Coconuts one time. Yeah, yeah, I had a good little run. (laughs) He did stand up for like two weeks. Man, you got to get back in that shit, Lee. Hey, man, mess around with Jay. I probably will. (laughs) I need an opener. (laughs) Dude. So. Anything other than that, you had to hop the dog, bro. So Birmingham, where I'm from, open mic was once a month. That's where I went. That's the first time I touched the mic was in Birmingham. Then I got connected with a local comedy troupe um, in Tallahassee. That was like a little, you know, a little quiet, little network. Me and a couple of white boys from over at Florida State, some locals who had already graduated, like the every race you could name. It was just people who love comedy. Niggas from 18 years of age up to like 45. And it was like seven or eight of us. And once a month, we put together a show in town. There was a weekend room, but you had to earn the right to get a guest set there. So that's what I spent most of 1999 doing. So when I got back in school, I already was making money on the road. Mm. I wasn't making a lot of money but I was doing okay enough. So I stacked on my classes Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays so that I could have time to travel on the weekends. And I needed Monday morning to take the long ride back to Tallahassee. And that's what I did until I graduated, man. I made the Dean's list the rest of the way. And when I got out of college, um, I graduate and then I go to try and, you know, apply for journalism jobs and all of that shit. And I can't get hired anywhere because every summer that I should have been interning, I was fucking doing comedy. Mm. But at this point, my mom had chipped in to get me a, um, she put a down payment on a car. I had to keep the note. And um, so I was traveling during stand up. And the way I felt, I was like, fuck it, man. I've been doing comedy the last two years. That was the internship. That's the job I'm supposed to be walking into. And I did the math. I was making more during stand-up than I did, than I would have for my first two journalism job offers. That's right. So how was you making so much money? How was you making so much money only doing, only two years in doing stand-up? Like, when did you when find we're talking so book? much money, I'm talking $14,000. Nigga, and that's more when, than I'm making right now. My projection... <laughs> <laughs> and my projection for year three after graduation, I did the math. I looked at the rooms I was working, looked at the merch that I could start selling. If I add this market, this market, this market, my projection was to make 18.5 my third year on the road. Mm. And I figure if I supplement that with Golden Corral, I'm probably making anywhere between, you know, 25 to 28 for the year. So my first, the two journalism jobs I had, the offers were for 13. What were, like, you, what were you doing to book these rooms? Or, or was it just kind of, was it like you going there performing and then the club owner or the venue owner want to bring you back? Or were you doing something in particular to book these rooms? Yeah, I mean, every comedy club is just a job. And you just, every job has an application process. So you just treat every club as its own individual thing. You do well in Tallahassee. The guy who books Tallahassee going to put you in Jacksonville. If you do good in Jacksonville, that gets you Savannah. The person who books Savannah also books Columbia, South Carolina. And Columbia was, back in these days, nigga, they would book you for two weeks straight if you was an opener or an um, MC. Mm-hmm. So Columbia would book you back-to-back weeks. And this was a six-night-a-week club, Comedy House Theater, or Comedy Act Theater. 
no comedy house theater comedy act was la comedy house theater would book you six nights a week so your only off day was monday so whenever i booked columbia and you would i would work columbia every three months right and so you're working two weeks straight as an mc what the fuck you doing all day during the day you ain't doing shit so take your bitch ass down to the fucking temp service and get a day job so i worked 40 hours a week during the day at a quick creek there's a concrete packing facility in columbia south carolina and i would clock the fuck in 7 30 to 5 and then i would fucking go home shower get the little concrete naps out my hair and then go tell my jokes that night so there were enough ways to supplement your income once you were on the ground that you could get your money up and so you show up on time you do your job you don't go over your time um the less you can curse the faster you advance mm. and so i had this i would say ass damn hell but if i said what i figured out was if i instead of cursing if you hit it on the half syllable then you get credit for cursing the audience gives you credit for cursing but the club owner in the eyes of the club owner you didn't curse you know what I'm saying? Like this shit. This fuck, this. Let me tell y'all something, man. Oh, okay. Here. And so if you hit curse words on the half syllable or just the first, the audience is going to fill that in with whatever curse word they deem appropriate. And so it got me this reputation as being this clean comic, even though if you really looked at the material, it wasn't really clean. It was just, I didn't say the whole word. Sweet, 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 sweet.